Hi. Welcome back to Holler Good News Weekly, episode two. That's right. We've done a sequel. Ba -da -ba. It's the second episode of your favourite weekly news thing, hosted by me. Q credits, no, Q graphics. The Rona and the resulting lockdown will no doubt be an experience that many of us will remember the rest of our lives. But what about beyond that? Well, Carlisle's Tully House Museum are already thinking about that, which is why they've started their COVID-19 collection. They're asking for people to submit photos from the time during lockdown to document this time for future generations, and in particular, they are looking for signs and symbols of support, for example, NHS rainbows, information signs, for example, notices and signs posted on local buildings, Carlisle during lockdown, wildlife during lockdown. I wonder if they'll accept the 46 selfies taken on consecutive days of me doing absolutely nothing, maybe. And if you want to get involved, you can find the link in the post to their COVID-19 collection to find out more. With schools across the nation currently still a while away from opening up fully, and not all children expected to be back before the start of the summer holidays, remote and online learning has become key in continuing children's education at home. And to help with this, South White Evan Youth Partnership are offering schoolwork printing to those unable to print at home. If this is something that could help you out in your situation with be it your children or your own schoolwork, then check out the link in the post for details of how to get in touch with them. And some personal good news, I gave up on the lockdown beard. <laughs> because there's nothing quite like spending hours on end staring at your own face while editing footage to make you realise maybe this isn't working out. We'll just... We'll just... We'll just pretend I, I never even tried. We'll just move on. Beginning on June 15th, some of the current lockdown rules will be eased. The levels of easing across England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland are all slightly different, but in England, non-essential shops will be allowed to reopen, providing that they can follow safe social distancing guidelines. This includes clothes shops, toy shops, furniture shops, electronic shops, a whole host of other shops, auction houses and indoor markets, to name a few. All shops and premises that are opening will be required to carry out a risk assessment, which will be overseen by local authority staff. And now for the real good news part of this story, zoos and safari parks will be allowed to open, which is just great. Because I miss trotters. It's not called that anymore, is it? What is it? The Lake District Wildlife Park, thanks to our correspondent there, Google. This is following on from Chester Zoo, amongst others, stating that they were facing a permanent closure if they weren't able to reopen soon. As with all non-essential shops that are reopening, zoos will also be expected to put in place social distancing measures, as well as taking further precautions by way of limiting the maximum capacity allowed in the park at any given time, putting in place one-way systems, and adding in hand-washing facilities throughout the site. Indoor exhibitions will not be open to the public, which is so sad. <laughs> Think of all those sad little tortoises in the reptile houses, all alone. And doesn't that just break your heart? What are your thoughts on the easing of the lockdown situation? Is it too soon? Is it not soon enough? What are your thoughts on it? Because we want to know. Let us know in the comments below. Moving on from Sad Reptilians, also from June 15th, anybody using public transport will be required to wear a face covering of some sort. It doesn't just have to be a mask, it could be a scarf, a bandana, a bit of fabric, anything that gets the job done and just kind of covers your face. I guess. Places of worship will be open to private prayer and reflection, but no large services, weddings or communal prayer will be allowed until the 4th of July at the earliest, says the government. Plans for GCSE and A-level exams are being put in place for next year, according to Gavin Williams, Secretary of State for Education. If you're a student, how are you feeling about all this? Is it stressing you out? Do you not mind? Is it nice having the extra time? Is it frustrating not to have done your exams by now and gone through it and been done with it? We want to know, so let us know in the comments. And now for some more pets. First up is Bobby, who's from Workington, and this is him celebrating his fourth birthday last week. Next up is Poppy, who's just straight chilling. And finally, we have Pepper and Sanchez, who are not straight chilling. So remember, we'd love for you to submit your lockdown stories, pictures, videos, pet pictures and you can email those to us at holler at soundwave.org.uk so that's all from me this week thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next week